We as the government side have the right to set the definition for this debate, so we are going to take this figure of speech metaphorically. Cabbage can represent a necessity, something that is beneficial to the people. A rose represents an indulgence, uh, a luxury somewhat, um, something that is not particularly useful at anything. Roses are a luxury, they are unnecessary for our life. We don't need roses, they die easily, they're not very beneficial and they're hard to grow. Okay, if we are deprived of these, if we are deprived of cabbages, the world as we see it will cease to exist. But if we have roses, how are they going to help? They might smell pretty, they might look pretty, but they are unnecessary. She said that technology is a luxury, but if you really think about it, technology is actually a necessity in today's world. How can you live without communication? How can you live without the computer? Can any of you live without the computer here? No. Now, they stated that computers, that we can't live without computers. Um, now I know that you mean that um, computers are really important to us and all. But in Africa, people don't have computers. You are rejected. In Africa, people don't have computers, yet they manage to live. What is really um, demeaning their um, life is starvation, which can be, as my first speaker mentioned, um, it can be um, resolved by growing cabbages rather than roses. I, I would surely say that the answer here is so easy. Let's come out of rosy discussions and let's all grow cabbages and make this universal health better and greener place away from hypocritical shows and thorns. By right, if you follow the government stand about how we need only to plant more cabbages than roses, then we will be walking around the world going us, uh, from here to US. We won't have any development in transportation, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, the stand for the opponent is invalid. Please. So what would you rather do? Would you rather help out someone who is dying of starvation because they do not have basic needs as water and food? Or would you rather buy yourself some extra designer jeans or some makeup because you don't even need it? So wouldn't that make you a quite egoistic and snobbish person? Ladies and gentlemen, the government team has let us down a long, dark, winding road and they forgot to bring a torchlight. No fear. For I, Carlton Dickman, third speaker of the opposition, am the light to bring you back to the path of righteousness. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if luxury goods are not useful, why bother working so hard? I mean, Malaysia, Malaysia has all the basic necessities for each individual. However, why do we still work hard? Malaysia has moved from agriculture to the service industry from the primary sector to the tertiary sector and this is a step of progress this is showing that we are progressing with time ladies and gentlemen and we are prioritizing the luxury of mankind which is the service sector before i rest my case i would like to say that we are not denying the importance of cabbages but we are highlighting the priority of both with that i rest my case thank you
Yes. Uh, but what but Java won't take think out of the box and think of creative methods to solve the problem. He may only think of creative methods, but he will not think in the right way to solve the problem that's being faced by the company. Now that I'm in the process of writing my own CV, I'm looking for as many things as I can as as universities are looking for this. It is competition among one another, ladies and gentlemen. To move forward, we need the competition to push us forward. Competition is what raises the boundaries for us to push the limits. So this shows that what the first speaker had said, that if we have more jack of all trades, the competition would cause a hostile environment. The word more itself tells us the government has failed to provide us an answer as to how they're going to produce more jack of all trades. They only mentioned about the benefits of the jack of all trades. They have not come up with a solution as to how to create more jack of all trades. Therefore, their whole case is flawed. theory about how a person needs to be well versed in a different variety of skills to be able to perform a multitude of tasks that a specialist would never be able to perform because he doesn't have the skills. Be careful. If you really think about it, the only way to survive in this world is to conform. Moreover, it is much harder than one thinks to be a truly a non-conformist, given the diversity of groups that compromise society. I would now like to call upon the leader of the opposition, <coughs> Mr. Khan Wai, to present the opposition's case. Yeah, yeah. There are five issues to deal with what they have said. Now, firstly, the first speaker has said about how babies imitate action, that how our childhood has become an example of conformity in Asia. When what side government has been trying to say that our upbringing has been conformity, that whenever we draw, we watch cartoons when we are children, that somehow relates to conformity in Asia. Hello, everybody. I think um, we all had a good time this evening. Are we agreed on that? Yes. Okay, okay what we judges found, um, some of our observations were that this was a very engaging um, debate. I could feel the passion that was coming from um, the debaters. Could you feel it? Could you feel your pulse, you know? Could you feel your heartbeat? I can still feel mine. And when you have passion, all right? When you have passion, and you believe in what you're saying, you've won the battle. And the winners for tonight's debate is Garden International School. Oh, yeah.